Here are some fun harmonic minor ideas. that was loosely inspired by the one and only Slash and one of his most legendary licks of all time. I guess we all know it. It's that, that lovely ascending harmonic minor run in the song, Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. That one, super great. So, and this lick stands out so much, not only because he's the man, but also because he uses harmonic minor, something everyone can and everyone should do, actually. And in this video, we're going to check out how to actually use the harmonic minor scale, going over the two harmonic minor runs I played in the intro, little thing I wrote, and at the end, we're going over Slash's lick. And we also learned that most tabs, every tab actually has it wrong. What's new? Anyway, here's the first half played slowly of the thing in the intro, and it utilizes the horizontal approach of the harmonic minor scale. Let's have a listen, slowly. <laughs> And in this video, I really want to talk about the implications, the practical uses of the harmonic minor scale. So by teaching you a lick in harmonic minor, you automatically know the scale. So no, not too much theory, I should say. So we start out with that minor note over here, fret 13 on the B string. What we don't play that note, we bend to it from fret 12 on the B string. And then we slide towards fret 12 by going just quickly to fret 13. You might have heard someone named Chris Buck do this thing all the time. And then we go to fret 10 on the A string. So this is the one, the two, and the flat three, the minor third, so the beginning of the minor scale. And the big thing about harmonic minor is that it uses the major seventh interval. That's the, the note that really makes the minor scale sound like harmonic minor. But we're only using that note at the end. So the second lick goes like this. Same beginning, but then we slide down to fret 5 on the B string. And the first chord was A minor, and now we play a G major. So A minor, G major. Now to F major. And we bend from fret 5 to fret 6. Slide down to 5, and then to fret 3. So F, E, and D. Lovely, and now we go to the E major chord. So the chords in this tune are A minor, G major, F, and E. And this is also called the Andalusian cadence, and we see it so often in songs, and that is why you should really be able to play a harmonic minor scale, because on that E chord, the five chord in any minor song played major, on that chord we can lovely play the harmonic minor scale. So A minor, harm A harmonic minor in this case, and the run goes like this. That's the run, just over the E7 chord. And it sounds super cool. So what we do is simple, but we just do two pull-offs from five to three and to an open string. So E, D, and B. We do two times, and I'm using my right hand actually to mute the other string so they don't start ringing all of a sudden. So I'm using my pick, putting it in between my index and middle. So, so I do that two times, and then to six and five and open. And now here we go, the G sharp, the note that makes the A minor scale the harmonic minor scale. And that works well over the E seventh chord. And then I slide up from G sharp to B. 
G sharp to B, two notes inside the E major chord, that's why it works. So here it is slowly. One more time. Super cool lick, harmonic minor, horizontal. So the next little lick is going to sound like this. Let's play it slowly. So that's the lick. This lick is two times as long, two bars of E7 instead of one bar. So we get more time to really utilize the harmonic minor scale that way. So we start out doing the same actually in bar one over the A minor chord. Then over the G major chord, we bend from fret 13 to fret 15, C to D. And then we go all the way up to fret 18 and we bend that to fret 20. And that is the G note. And then we go to fret 18, but we play fret 17 and we bend it up to fret 18. So there's three notes that we bend to the target notes. And then we do that slide thing again from fret 18 down to 17. And we just go down via the A minor scale. 17, 15 and 13. So that whole thing, And now here is the lick, the harmonic minor lick. We talked about two bars. A bit sloppy on the timing there, sorry for that, but you get the idea. A harmonic minor, so the cool thing, we slide from 14 to 15 to 14 and back to 12. All with the ring finger. And then the index finger plays 12. So now we set the mood of A minor. We're not really jumping into that harmonic minor sound too quickly because sometimes it can be a bit obnoxious if you, if you play that all the time. It sounds like uh, uh, uh. it's called a harmonic minor because it's not really made to play melodies with actually. Well, back in the day, they use it to create chords with. That's why the E major works into an A minor context because of the harmonic minor scale is used in that case. But now we just say, hey, it's modern times, we can do melodies with it as well, no worries. So, uh, slide 12, and then we do a simple little pattern that just keeps on going, and we go a string down all the time. 15, 14, 15, and then fret 14 on D. So four notes. Now we do the same, 15, 14, 15, and fret 13 on the G string. There we are, the major seventh. The one from the harmonic minor scale, the really note that really gives it the character. And then again, the same thing, 14, 13 and 14, but now to 12 on the B string. Again, the same thing, 13, 12, 13 on the B string, to the D for 10 on the E, uh, e string. Again, one time, the same thing, 12, 10, 12, to fret 13 on the high E. And now we do the tapping bit, basically just an E seventh chord. So fret 16 on the high E, fret 12 on the high E, and fret 10 on the high E. So really outlining the E seventh chord. Quickly. When we 
go to slash slick right now, you will see the same things happening. But he goes a little bit more all over the place. He actually uses the vertical approach, the horizontal approach, all in one lick. And there isn't much logic to the lick, if you ask me. But that's why it sounds so amazing, actually, I think. So, one more time, here it is. Okay, so that's the lick. So in this case, it's E harmonic minor. So we jump keys all of a sudden, transposing from A minor to E minor. Um, so in E minor, this is the E minor chord. So here we find the little octave, fret nine on the G string. And that's the starting point of this lick. This is for me the anchor point to see the lick and to, to know which position I wanna play in. So, we start off by actually playing, jumping into a harmonic minor sound. Like really, all of a sudden you just know, okay, this is harmonic minor, really accentuating. Eight and nine on the G string. And I'm doing a hammer on and pull off on the B string. From the nine to the minor third actually. Back to the root and back to the nine. And now we slide up from fret 10 to 12. Do it with the pinky, even Slash, who doesn't like to use his pinky all that much, uses his pinky. And then we go to fret 8 on the, uh, the E string and back to fret 12 on the B string. So that's quite an extraordinary jump. Like this. So this is the first two beats. One, two. I always like to learn it licks into beats so you can really divide the notes. So the next two beats are this, which is quite interesting. So now we're really going to the, uh, the more horizontal approach again, and we're really emphasizing that D sharp note, the major seventh, the one from, like the one that determines the harmonic minor sound. So we jump from the D sharp to B, to the C, and then the big jump up to 11, to 12, and then we slide up to 14. So that's eight, 11, 12, and 14. And then we play 11 and 12 again, concluding those two beats. Super elegant, actually. So here it is slowly. A little bit more quick. It's just super awesome, Nick. All right, so. The last bar goes like this. Actually, in this case, we just omit the harmonic minor feel at all. We slide from 14 to 15, play for 12 and 14 again. So this is just minor, E minor. And now also we change positions. So now we don't use the pinky anymore. At least this is how Slash plays it. I watched and analyzed his videos live and this is how he plays it. So now he just uses his ring finger instead of the pinky. So we slide from 14 to 15. 12 to 14, and then we just go down following the E minor scale. So now we don't play the harmonic minor anymore. N now we play the natural minor. Determined by this note. So we play the D and not the D sharp. Again, the F sharp and the D. Now we do a cool little hammer on and pull off. 12, 14, 12, followed by fret 15 on the B. Back to fret 12 on the high E. And now we do, we conclude this thing with a little bend. Release and a pull off to 12. And then we play that epic bend in the end and we keep on shredding until dawn. Okay, so. That's the lick slowly. Slowly with music. Quickly with music. Yeah, so uh, man, that's just amazing. It's really a cool lick to have 
under your belt. The backing tracks to both legs are available on my Patreon page if you want to check it out. Tabs as well for the whole thing. Uh, so I hope it's going to help you guys. Harmonic Minor. So if you're really interested into how to use Harmonic Minor, how it's built, the theory behind it as well, and learn some more solid with Harmonic Minor, I cover it in detail in my next level playing course. So if you want to check it out, links are below. Of course, for the acoustic, you can check out Acoustic Adventure, or if you're a beginner, check out Learn, Practice, Play, my three courses. Anyway, thank you for watching and I wish you a lovely day. Bye.